Hey, what are you playing? Hmm? Oh, Planet Crafter. Yeah, it's this awesome early access game where you terraform a planet. Oh nice, I think I've heard of that. Yeah, it's real fun. You can explore the planet, build a base, gather all these resources, upgrade your gear. It's super fun. What are you working on now? Oh yeah, just working on my drone show. Huh, wait. Yeah, that's not a feature of the game. Oh, that's because I added it. Oh. Wait, what? Okay, just to be clear, I didn't start by adding drone shows as a feature to the game. I didn't even have the idea. And in fact, when I first started playing the game, there weren't even drones in Planet Crafter. I was just messing around with the game while live streaming, trying to figure out how it works, trying to break it. But this journey ended up taking me way farther than I expected it to. Maybe I'll be able to mod this game eventually. The first thing I did is see how high the game would let me build a staircase. And uh, turns out pretty dang high. Like high enough that I didn't want to keep building one by hand. It was taking a ton of time and I was starting to run out of iron which you need to build staircases. So I thought, hey, let's check out the game's save files. Maybe we can mess with them in some way. A lot of times games have save files that just look like this when you open them. A bunch of garbled nonsense, which is really hard to mess with. So I wasn't too hopeful. But y'all, Planet Crafter, it doesn't use garbled nonsense save files. It uses JSON. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. And JSON is super easy to read, super easy to write, and super easy to edit. Like, it's easy to tell that these lines are items in the game. This one's aluminum, this one's titanium, this one's iron. And if I search this ID, we can see that it's in this list of IDs down here. So I'm willing to bet this is a container. And if I search the rest of the IDs in this container, it looks like they're all aluminum. So I bet that's this container. So if I just try something real quick... Boom! There we go! Now we can give ourselves whatever we want! Okay, so now we're starting to learn how the game works a little bit. So I went back to building my staircase for a little while, but it was still just slow and tedious editing the save file over and over. We need programming. Let's just make the computer do it. And I don't mean just give ourselves more iron over and over. The stairs are always the same distance apart. We can just do a little simple math and have the script add stairs for us. Boom, baby. Now we're smooth sailing. Uh oh, whoa. Oh, uh, I think we broke it. Just a little bug in the code, one sec. There we go, boom! 10,000 meters like nothing. And yeah, we're jumping off. Three, two, one, hop! This was so high up, I had the best oxygen tank in the game, and it was still completely empty before we had fallen even halfway down. With the help of a couple spare tanks, it took over six minutes to fall from top to bottom. Okay, it didn't look like I was finding a ceiling on this thing, so instead I thought I could make something fancy. I don't know, a spiral staircase. That could be fun. I mean, how hard could it be? You just go around and up, right? How hard could it be? Uh, so yeah, Planet Crafter is made in this game engine called Unity, and Unity uses something called quaternions to handle rotating objects. So like if I wanted to tell you how to rotate something, I'd probably be like, rotate it 90 degrees this way and then 45 degrees forward or something like that. Makes sense, right? Quaternions are not that. Quaternions are weird and complicated. They're a good thing, don't get me wrong. They solve some problems XYZ rotations have like gimbal lock. That's a whole other thing. But man, they are weird. Even Unity's documentation says they are not easy to understand intuitively. So whatever, I googled quaternion rotations and ended up on a NAS page, copy, paste. Math, 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 meteor storm, frustration, cat tries to eat me, more math and hair pulling, boom, spiral staircase. Look at that, it looks beautiful. From there, I just started experimenting with everything. Whoa, this is trippy. Have you ever had a nightmare like this? You're just wandering infinitely through some isolated corridor. Oh, this is weird. I've never seen something like this. Oh, ooh, look at that. Oh, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Oh, that looks awesome. Look at that. That's a real nice heater tower. I love it. Oh, whoa, whoa. 
Look at that. Whoa. Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's so many. You can't even see how many there are. Where is it dropping all the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoops. Whoa. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Butterfly farm. Whoa. Holy crap. We've ascended to butterfly heaven. Oh, wow. That's a lot of rockets. There's so many. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's really zooming. All right, let's check. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. It's completely blanked out. I crashed it. I crashed the game. Oh no, it's a beast. It's a monstrosity. It shouldn't exist. At this point, I'd pretty much reached the limits of what I felt I was going to be able to do with save file editing. So I started learning how to mod the game, which involved writing a lot of C sharp code. And then an update came out for the game. Oh. My. God. Fish! Fish! Look at all the wonderful things you can do with fish! and drones, but fish! Wow. <sighs> Wait, drones? Drones! That's it! So drones are this new machine type they added to the game that carries supplies between containers for you. They're great for making sure you don't have to run back and forth across the map just to get more supplies. And I had the perfect idea in mind for what to do with them next. I started coding like there was no tomorrow. This was so much work, and I had to really learn about how the game works behind the scenes. I had to do math and think about the physics of the game engine and deal with floating point precision. And here's what I came up with. I made a mod for Planet Crafter that lets you make your own drone show. All you have to do is edit a text file. So to show a little bit of what's possible with the mod, I wanted to make an example drone show. Here's what I came up with. So, there's my drone show. I hope you liked it. If you want, you can try the mod out yourself. There's a link in the description. It definitely has bugs, and it will definitely break as the game updates, but it's fun to mess around with. I've also made the source code available in case you want to see how the mod works. And you can see the file that made the drone show I just showed you. I really hope you liked hearing about this whole journey I went on. It took a lot of tinkering and experimentation and frustration and giving up for a while and coming back to it and math and coding and more coding. And there's so much more that happened that I didn't even put in this video. Hold on, I think I found an exploit. Where are we? We're in a red scary room with no exit. There's no way out. Oh, it's so slow. Ah! Oh God, whoa, hello. Woo! Look at that! My dream has come true! Oh, jeez. Oh, what have I done? So let me know if you're curious to see more of that. And feel free to share any other thoughts you have in the comments. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if this sort of thing is something you'd like to see more of. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. It's coming right from my face. Can I catch it? Come on! Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! It killed me! <laughs>